All right, Capricorn, welcome back to Peony Lore, where we help you to find the beauty in all things. La, 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 la. <laughs> Thank you for stopping back and taking a look at the week of April the 19th through the 25th. Well, there we go. <laughs> um, with so many different energies, I'm, I'm really appreciative of the fact that people are starting to come back and um, really try to understand what what is the potential that's coming up here so you guys have a master card you actually have this is scorpionic energy to be perfectly honest with you this capricorn energy a number seven it doesn't reduce okay um rebirth transformation reweaving and reactivating this is kind of a no joke energy here this is the um metatron's cube oh my gosh i love metatron's cube for doing crystal grids because the power that you get out of that particular um crystal that you put on there is just beyond there is so much power in this in this image that's right here so um take a picture of that even if you don't have any crystals if you were just to sit and look at this i mean and just draw in the nature of what this master is it's just beautiful it's beautiful okay so capricorn <clears throat> universe says archangel anael says that there is a uh, a lot of transformation that we're going to talk about here so let's lay down our base because there is a lot going on this week. <laughs> um, let's just take it step by step, day by day, and let's see what we can't put together for you. Okay. All right. So Monday, mm -hmm. tower energy, Tuesday, two of swords energy. So there's a surprise that's coming. There's a choice that's going to need to be made. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that mars energy is really coming in then we've got another major arcana of the hangman so we've got neptune that wants to come out and hang out and play a little bit let's see what else we've got going on here <clears throat> judgment and then the eight of swords energy on the weekend okay let us get into it. I just have a second here with these base energies. All right, so there's a surprise that's come in. Not all surprises are bad, but surprises uh, from the universe. The universe comes in with that tower um, when the universe needs to make a forcible um, situation kind of come to fruition. So um, either there's something you couldn't or wouldn't uh, have seen and needed something to change which is going to come to a point where you need to make a choice. Um, the hangman is actually going to ask you to receive um, some guidance from the universe uh, so that they can put you in the right frame of receive, receivership, really. And then the judgment card is the act of receiving that. It is renewal. So judgment itself is the renewal that comes up, um, re renewal, transformation, and rebirth. So this card might, have, might as well have been called judgment. <laughs> um, so really, this is kind of where we're at. And then the weekend, we're at the eight of uh, swords energy, which is that ability to remove yourself um, with your own free will away from a situation because you're realizing that there isn't anything that's physically harming you or stopping you from doing what it is that you need to be able to do. So like this little butterfly comes out of the chrysalis, <clears throat> spreads its wings, and these little swords that are there, are, there's nothing holding that, that butterfly from like taking off when it's ready to go. There's nothing that's stopping it. This is all internal um, energy at that particular moment. So you can choose to do what you want. You can choose to um, keep your eyes closed and go with blind faith, or you can open up your eyes and realize there's nothing around you and you can kind of go what it, uh, go in whatever direction it is that you'd like to be able to go into. So let's get into it and let's like start being nosy about why this tower is here. So <clears throat> as I shuffle the cards to pull each of the different clarifiers for each, I'll start talking about what's going on in the astro. Okay. On April the 19th, which is Monday, we have the sun entering in the sign of Taurus. And so last week when Venus went into Taurus, uh, Taurus being one of her natural children, um, it was all about, you know, um, making sure that uh, uh, she was really making her presence known for physical, tangible things, everything that is has a value point, uh, money, resources, uh, those different types, again, of of personal tangible touchable types of things so when the sun enters in any particular sign then it's um, really boosting the energy of what um, particular sign it happens to be in at that particular moment so there's going to be a big push for 
um, exactly that, those values that are coming through. Um, <clears throat> then on the 20th, we have another asteroid that's coming in. We have Vesta that's going direct in the sign of Leo. So Vesta is talking about your soul lesson. So all these karmic energies are sitting out here still all in play. Chiron and Aries talking about your... Um, your personal karma, Juno, um, that we talked about last week is talking about your relationship um, and your commitment to relationship or business. Um, and now we've got Vesta that's popping up here talking to us about, um, you know, your own personal soul lessons. Also on the 20th, um, Uranus starts to engage. And so Uranus is the energy of the fool, right? Aquarian energy, a little bit of it, okay? <clears throat> wanting to start something different, wanting to start something new, wanting to be youthful and enthusiastic um, in a sense. But what happens is it creates and it is involved in the stellium in the sign of Taurus. So basically a stellium is just when there's a lot of different um, aspects ooh, that all happen to take place in the same sign. Now, give me just a second here. I need to confirm on ale. <sighs> okay. Here and here is what he said. We're going to leave those down like that. Okay. Um, so here's the, here's the nature of what's happening within that particular stellium. We have, um, cause it creates a square. So we have a square now with the sun in Taurus, with Libra still being in Taurus, with Uranus coming into play, with Chiron that is in Aries. And then there's an opposition with Saturn in Aquarius. So that's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Mm-hmm, 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 okay. Whew. Then, <laughs> um, we skip down to, you know, some of those different things that are going to start popping up here, okay? And the weekend energy, the, the 23rd, you know, <clears throat> there's this opportunity for you to really pay attention to um, a boost or a venture when it comes to um, business, um, and romanticisms. Wait, is that accurate? Nope. He said, leave it here. Um, also there's an opportunity to watch out when Mars starts to do its dance and change over on the 25th, um, with Saturn now going into Aquarius, which is creating that square with Venus now traveling into Mercury. Um, that is, uh, uh, something to be aware of when it comes to, really being honest and fruitful about the love matters that are going on in your world and also being aware that there could be a little bit of a delay in some contracts. So you should be starting the work around the 23rd, but just be cognizant that um, uh, you should be um, aware of where those resources all, everything kind of pulls back together. And that's especially important for the following week. I am going to get the signs done a little bit earlier this week so that you can take advantage of it because there's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> right before this full moon in Scorpio that happens. Okay. All right, Capricorn. There's a lot. So, again, one, two, three, four, and then three, and then two, and then. Okay. So, this tower energy, this surprise moment, this situation that's going to come and cleanse um, and eclipse something that's out of your life has to do with something that needed to be dropped. Two of Pentacles trying really, really fiercely to balance something, but in the end, something needed to be dropped. Um, in order to make it work um, regarding a decision or something that has to do with those resources on that 19th. Like I said, sun entering into Taurus, this 10 of pentacles that's sitting in the reverse position um, and the ace of swords. So there was some lack of clarity. And so there has to be a shift and a change of direction um, when it comes to whatever those 10 of pentacles mean to you, because it doesn't always mean physical dollars and cents to everyone. It can be, like I said, um, um, whatever the abundance of whatever it is that you need. It could be time. It could be people. It could be, you know, getting your car worked on. It could be any of those things that are most meaningful to you that you know that you want to be able to grasp. Well, something has to change. There's going to be a surprise with this choice that needs to be made or a choice that needs to be dropped. Maybe it's because there was an overspend of a situation and you finally needed to make a decision or there's going to be a situation where it's like, mm -mm, can't do both. One of them's got to go. This is costing me too much money and it's creating confusion and, and and, and non-clarity moments, okay? So the towers are really actually good moments. They just happen to look scary and fierce for people. Um, don't be afraid of a tower moment because um, the tower never comes um, without something beautiful to replace it because that's all it is. It's just washing away anything that no longer serves you. Okay, having said that, we move into that, that um, 
Tuesday energy now where we have the two of swords. So the two of swords is absolutely asking you to make a choice. Okay. Um, the choice needs to be, um, within this Libra energy of this Empress. Okay. It's using your foresight. It's using your knowledge. It's using that third eye. It's using that, um, um, that intuition and that knowing, okay, when it comes to balance and um, caring. Um, the Empress doesn't want to chase anything. The Empress wants to have things come to her, him or her. It doesn't really matter if you're male or female. It's just the energy of receiving, okay? Um, but you're strong enough to do it because you've got another major arcana that's sitting here, this Leo card, this, um, this strength. It is also a healing energy when it comes through. Um, and then on top of that, you've got the sun. <laughs> so if nothing else, know that whenever the sun shows up, it kind of trumps a lot of other things that are getting ready to show up. So it could be a restoration of health. Okay. Someone that's, you know, just really tired and something had to work. Maybe you're working two jobs and it wasn't really bringing in the money that you needed. So you needed the clarity, just like give yourself permission to leave or consider leaving or doing something different. Okay. It can be just as simple as that. Um, but whatever it is, there's a decision that's getting ready to be made, which will allow you to be in the energy of the Empress, which is going to give you a complete restoration and the sun is going to be shining. So it talks about, um, freedom and travel and, um, you know, getting back to the good sense of where you're at in your self-esteem. Um, it can talk about, um, success and fame and victory. Um, it can talk about, you know, the abundance being restored of something that you needed. It doesn't matter what that abundance is. It doesn't always have to be physical, like I said, but it does look like Tuesday is going to be a really awesome day. Okay. Then we roll into the day of Wednesday when we have the major arcana of the hangman sitting here, this Neptune energy, most signs got this card, just so you know, this Neptune energy that kind of pops through, um, The hangman really is, you know, this, this true kind of like Piscean energy, right? It really wants to help bring you in so that you can be refreshed if there is any um, crossroads energy. It really is asking you to kind of go in, take guidance from spirit at that particular moment, take guidance from your higher self, take guidance from wherever it is that you can get it. But it is that um, permission to kind of just... Kind of bring it back in, take a knee, go, yep, I need, might need a little bit more information before I do the next thing, right? Just kind of marinate. Um, this is very int uh, uh, integral when it comes to your root chakra as well. Root chakra is base energy. It's pentacles energy. It's it's ground energy. It's, it's physical, tangible, touchable things. It is um, um, anything that created your stability. So this is a lot of work to understand what's going on with what that stability is means for you whether it's dollars or resources or people if you think it's shaking your faith or your stability then the other thing you should think about is what is it that you do have at this particular moment and how can i continue to capitalize on that seven of pentacles just clarifying that seven of pentacles is um a, re a request to say hey listen you've planted all these seeds and they're starting to fruit but you just still need to be a little you need to be a little patient you need to review you need to take you know Take out the checkbook. You need to make sure things are balanced if that's what it is for you. Um, what is your next step, right? Not everything is going to come in five minutes. This three of pentacles that shows up in the reverse position does indicate that there is um, a disruption when it comes to the creation of a trine of people, whether it's body, mind, spirit, you, um, a part, a business partner, and the bank, whatever that trine or that trifecta is, it doesn't look like this is the time where it's going to come to fruition at that particular moment. The Queen of Swords is coming through saying, mm -mm, it ain't the time. She's cutting that energy out, right? She's cutting that energy out, this air energy, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy that's popping through, okay? So just, just know that that's a, a permission from the universe to just to kind of hang back just a little bit because they do have something for you. Judgment is here. Pluto energy itself, right? Scorpio energy, crown chakra, epiphany. This is talking about your dharma. It's talking about not karma. This is dharma. This is what you came here to do. This is a gift. These are things that you have innately within you that now need to start coming out. So this is that transformation, um, renewal, um, birth, something brand new, something brand new, this change, this transformation that has to come to fruition. And when this change comes, you have to be ready to receive it going. Yep. I'm all up. I'm all in. Give it to me. I'm ready. Right. Let's do our little SpongeBob. So 
Um, <clears throat> the six of wands that shows up in the reverse position, it indicates that when it came to this thought process for you before, um, it didn't come the way that you wanted it to come. So this is universe's timing. It's not your timing. Okay. There was something that you were trying to do and this decision that you made, it just wasn't the time to do it at that particular moment. Um, Hierophant energy shows up, Taurian energy, Taurus, the major arcana for Taurus. It is about values. You have to sit down and really think about what that means. The king of pentacles could not have shown up for you at this particular moment. It wasn't time. Okay. Um, so you just need to think about what that means to you. What does that value of those different types of things mean for you? Okay. There's also a potential in the other aspect that you need to make a judgment call when it comes to something else, right? You've already been told that you need to make a choice here. So there's your waffling. You've got two major energies that are sitting here. You have, are, are strong enough and will be taken care of from the universe, regardless of what it is that you need to do. So when you make this decision, do what feels right. Okay. Swords are mental energy. Yeah. You have to think about it and you have to be analytical, but at the end of the day, if you can balance it between your head and your heart, that's really where you want to try to live. Right. Okay. So if you do have to make a judgment call about something, just know that the judgment that you have to make, especially with this wands energy, this fire energy that I'm seeing popping up over here is it might not bring, um, the financial stability that you're looking for at this particular moment. Okay. When we get to the weekend energy, again, we talked about this little butterfly. Nobody's holding you. This is you holding you. So the, you can just realize that you can shift your mentality at any particular moment and do the next best thing. Here we go in that hermit energy. Um, the hermit energy is that Virgo energy. This is that, per, that perfection. And it is about service. Okay. What is it that you're doing to help yourself? So that service energy that's going in, um, how can you service and do self love for yourself at this particular moment? Because that seems to be a lot of what's needed for you. Eight of swords clarified by the eight of swords. Okay. You can do this chariot moment, karmic moments. Can you feel confident that you're going to be able to move forward um, with what needs to occur that the universe is going to bring to you that is guaranteed to be guaranteed to be a successful moment because they're helping you to navigate through those um, landmines and the other things that are out there very fast it's very fast moving type of energy so can you will you do it that's basically what it boils down to are you willing to take advantage of what spirit's trying to tell you in this particular moment and do the next thing okay excuse me while i grab a sip <laughs> of my tasty beverage mm. all right let's go ahead and bring in the keeper of the light here what's keeper of the light would like to step forward for our capricorns archangel Aniel, bring another master thank you rebirth transformation reweaving and reactivating okay Yes, <clears throat> in addition to, so there's going to be two cards. Thank you. All right. Whoop, number one, Freya, phases and cycles. Love that. There is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. That's your first card there, okay? Thank you. <clears throat> well, all right. He wanted to slide in. Uh, the big JC wanted to slide in here. Um, the first energy is that of Diana. Focused intention. Think about what it is that you desire and set your sights so high that there's no choice for it to come through and expect the best possible outcome. You've got to change something. It's time for something to change. So think about what you want. And don't cry over spilt milk, okay? And then the big JC wants to slide in here. <laughs> and he wants to talk about forgiveness. You are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father, healing is possible at this time. So the reason I brought up the pentacles and, and being that base chakra is sometimes the energy that we are taking on is not always our own. So when it comes to pentacles and when it comes to this root chakra, it comes to stability, it comes to how you learned to do those different things. Who taught you? Well, usually it's your parents or your grandparents or someone else that you're living with, right? 
if something's going on when it comes to um, um, finances or some other level of stability when it comes to a family member and you are now ready to like move on, like I don't want to take part in this family business. I've got my own thing I want to work on, right? As an example, um, don't feel bad about having to do you, okay? It's time for you to do you. So the biggest message that you get out of here from Yeshua is that you need to forgive yourself for not having moved at a different point and also forgive the person if you feel that they held you back a little bit from moving because at the end of the day everyone's get, going to get what it is that they need to receive but this is your life this is your role this is what you get to make of it you can't let someone else tell you what to do and how to do it okay all right so thank you masters for coming through all right a lot of crown chakra third eye activation also going on here for people so be mindful that if you happen to start feeling um lack of hydration water is a very important when it comes to your third eye you've, you've, you've got to have that clearing the other thing they're telling me is that some people are going to start feeling um one of the symptoms that's possible is sometimes you can kind of get like a runny nose that's one of the ways that you know that your third eye is being very uh, uh activated and cleared out um <clears throat> whoops i fat fingered that one i'm so sorry i'm gonna reshuffle um uh, you can get pulses, not like, uh, not like migraine, but it's kind of like this steady feel on your temples or the back of your head. It's just like, you can just feel like there's pressure. It's not like pounding. It's just like, you can feel that there's pressure there. Just know that those are the signs of your third eye, um, trying to, um, clear out a little bit. All right. Hey, <laughs> forgiveness and understanding. Yeah. Well, see, he was trying to basically the same card um, forgiveness and understanding that's basically what's up okay and then romance and connection okay so this energy this <laughs> while it can be romantic while there while it can be romantic okay and especially thinking about this next thing that you want to be able to do okay focused intention um i'm just going to grab the book because i don't want to I don't want to phrase this in an, in an incorrect way. There is a connection. The connection piece not always is. It's almost like the lover's card where the lover's card means a couple of different things. It doesn't, it can literally mean a lover, but it doesn't always. It sometimes means the connection within your higher self, right? Your spiritual self. Let me just take a quick break, 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 break. Okay. It's likely that your heart space is opening up and any barriers or shields that have been in place are falling away. Okay. And know that this is a sign that you would like to experience some love. Um, I lost my place. What? Oh, um, a loving romance. And the angels are guiding you to be able to see yourself as loving and then deserving of love, which is also the reason why kindness and forgiveness comes up. You've got to be able to be a whole person to give yourself to someone else, right? So forgive yourself any of those kind of crazy things. Um, you're being encouraged to understand that the world wants to see you, to know you, and to understand your heart. And all of this is only possible with your permission, so why not give it? Like I said, the universe is saying, hey, we want to give this situation to you. Um, so if you're already in a relationship, this could mean that you have an opportunity to connect more deeply and share more intimacy and love. If your relationship isn't even on the forefront, um, just know that your angels are encouraging you to try to make some time for it. And if you have a new relationship unfolding or there's a potential for a new one, the angels will help you move forward with it now. Call on it if that's what you're trying to bring into the universe. Otherwise, your higher self, your oversoul, your I am presence wants to be able to help connect with you more. But they are saying that there's space for um, creating and reweaving and reactivating if that's what needs to happen for you. Okay, so... I'm going to pull out the Angel of Atlantis. Let's just see what Master Angel would like to step forward. The Archangels here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is for our Capricorns. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Archangel Raziel. Okay, so Archangel Raziel is, um, is the... He, got, he does a lot of different things, but he is one of the main Archangels that helps to um, boost your intuition, including that cleansing of the third eye, the crown chakra, those different types of things. He like, he, he takes everything that's clouding you and he starts to remove it. So you can call on Archangel Raziel if you'd like a little bit more support with clearing that third eye and your intuition. Okay. Otherwise he is saying that you are connected 
and there are things that are happening for you and you need to be able to trust pretty much as the other cards just said here okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go in with the oracle of the radiant sun and we're going to take a peek at a couple of these cards for you and then we'll read from the um, sacred geometry book to see if there's anything else that we can um, support you with capricorn okay <laughs> <laughs> well okay <laughs> not a whole lot of mystery in this one the isolation energy that comes through here is the saturn <laughs> energy in virgo um and it's like you need to get out that's basically what it is you're isolating for what what is the reason that you're isolating yourself for um a little bit too much um you need to make some decisions that are going to get you out a little bit the other one is flirtation <laughs> So this is Sagittarius energy um, in Venus um, herself. Flirtation. It could be um, a flirtation with an idea, but it also can very much be a flirtation with an individual. So, you know, take that as it resonates for you. But you can't like, mm, this is Venus. This is Venus and Taurus. So this is that energy that's on Tuesday. Something's going to go down. Okay. Libra wants to step forward. Okay. Venus, Taurus in uh, Venus. Um, that's that's the energy of what's to, of what wants to come through. So, <laughs> I think this is hilarious. Um, you just have to choose to release yourself from that which is like binding you. Like get out a little bit. It's it's time to start um, circulating. You do have some good things that are going to come to you. Um, and if King of Pentacles moment for you is having that thought process of being solid uh, so that you can entertain family, you got some choices to make and you've got some things to do so that you can be seen victorious, right? <laughs> I love the universe. Okay, let us go into the Sacred Geometry book and see what this Master Card number seven has to say. If there's something that maybe... I may have missed in articulating. So transforming, uh, reweaving, reactivating. My spiritual and physical bodies are reborn and reweaved at a cellular memory level. You can ask Raziel to help you uncover those new gifts that you're starting to receive as well as part of your intuition. My physical, my spiritual and physical bodies are reborn and reweaved at cellular memory level. One more time. My spiritual and physical bodies are reborn and reweaved at cellular memory level, okay? It's time to let go of the old way of thinking about things is basically what it is. Release the belief system that you've held onto so for long. Allow your body, mind, and spirit to shift in accordance with the inevitable changes. And as we ride the waves of increase in universal vibration and frequency, as well as dealing with interrelationships within ourselves, family, and business... Okay, uh, we need to keep up with the forever changing shifts that are becoming an everyday occurrence. Okay, there's an unhealthy change in your life. It's time to make those changes now. Isolation. It's time to get connected with people, get loved on and love yourself too. Should you want to take advantage of um, crystal frequencies to help support you, Herkimer Diamond is a good one, Tibetan Quartz, Selenite, Singing Quartz, or any Platonic Solid Set. Okay, so this is really, really good. I am so excited for um, you, Capricorn, because you get to create something new and the universe is telling you, we're here, let's help you, let's bring it on, all right? So romance, for sure. Connection, absolutely. Because like I said, romance doesn't always have to be lovers. It can be the romance of you starting something new, especially flirtation. So there's inner, there's multiple messages when it comes to that, but it's definitely time for you to get out it's definitely time for this old to break free and it's time for you to start something new and look at all these gifts, the gifts the universe wants to give you. They want to give you all of these things. So let's do it. Let's do it, Capricorn. All right. That's what I have for you this week. Hopefully you were able to take some um, uh, new information and, and learning from it. Hopefully you resonated. If you did, make sure that you give it a thumbs up, okay? Um, comment. I'm always um, happy to communicate with people in the comments. Um, otherwise, a lot of people still email me, which is totally cool. I love that too. Um, my contact information is in the description box below, especially if you're looking for a booking. If you did get everything you needed out of this reading, then make sure that you take a look at your sun, your moon, and your rising sign, okay? And with that, I will say thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you next week, Capricorn. Bye for now.